Hi, my name is Christina and I welcome you to the BOE booth today. Come on, let's go. So here's the entrance of the Display Week 2025 and the BOE booth is right there. And you have lots of cool stuff to show. Absolutely. So, I mean, let's start here. That's an eye catcher, definitely, right? So yep. it's packed with panels. L take a look around. Mirror panels, like, hi there. All right. <laughs> but not only that, take a look at the ceiling. Nice. So I think anything you can pack a panel in into a car is represented here. Nice. Only with there's, the best quality. There's so many cool new EVs coming to the market, self-driving cars, and you want to watch stuff, you want to see cool content and all these. Uh, right here, I like this. Uh, I like this rollable 17-inch. Definitely. I mean, I cannot roll it up right now, but yeah. um, it can roll up to here 6.5 times and quite quickly as well. Sometimes there's a button there to go to make it go up. Uh, I saw them do that before. And um, uh, so I got a separate video also about this one. This yeah. is very bright. It's not only bright, it's 58 micrometers of a micro LED. So that's the best you can get at the moment. And where do you have it? In airplanes, of course. So only for the most complicated. All right, so high pixel density, very bright. What's the next uh, cool things you want to show? Yeah, absolutely. This here, I mean, OLED is said to be true black, but look at this. This is mini LED backlight. So can you see the blackness? Can you see the colors? That's really nice. Nice. Um, you call it micro LED? Mini LED backlight unit. Mini LED. We need the backlight. But I mean, turn around. I would say turn around if you want to have something really brilliant. So take a look at that. That's our field sequential 85 inch display. And if you can catch it with a camera, you might want to do the close up. Nice. So it's, there's a sequence going on with all the different colors. Uh, that gives a very interesting new way of doing very large display. Yeah, and it's also a bit too bright for this room, to be honest. It's almost blinding, <laughs> frankly. Nice. And honestly, what we're actually quite proud of is um, low carbon and recycling. So we actually recycle some of our consumer panels um, or the full products up to 55%. So that's really nice. Nice. Because uh, the impact you're doing on the earth, you want to be responsible, huh? Yeah, not only that. I mean, this is an AI. These are both exactly the same laptops, or maybe not laptops, but panels. And a algorithm actually makes the power consumption less here. It's about de detecting where there is the light, where is black. And with that, you get at least like, let's say 50 watt less than the other one. Nice. And if you turn around, we have the 3D. I mean, this one is really nice. It's an eye tracking one. I understand it's difficult to catch. This is my favorite screen. I mean, even if you cannot see the, eye, uh, the, uh, the 3D in the video, the quality itself, when you only look at it, is amazing. The resolution, the brightness, the clearness is fantastic. It's the best 3D display in the world. 16K, 32-inch yes. light field. This is at the moment the best, absolutely. Nice, and every year you show improved demos on it, right? That is absolutely correct. You optimize everything. And this one has with the glasses? Absolutely, this is with the glasses. It's also getting better and better. Right, let's try there, right there. So this is a better glasses. Yes, also 4K. So, I mean, sometimes you switch between 2K and 4, uh, between 2D and 3D, and this one almost has no loss. Nice. So let's continue the tour. Uh, let's check what's happening on this area here. Yeah, this is actually an AI. So this is our BOE AI. So BOE is not only producing panels where you might know us off, but this is our own AI. We have 20 factories, as you might know. 
and we use our AI in our factory for every step. And with this, we, we get most of the efficient and best factories in the world. Wow, you optimize and how you produce all this stuff absolutely. using AI. And these factories are huge. Yeah, some people actually jog, go jogging in the factory. Yeah. Because <laughs> with all this knowledge of how you how to do displays, you put it into your AI and you can yeah. optimize. Yeah, and actually processes. we're also doing the IoT. I mean, IoT is a buzzword which stands for everything and nothing. But actually, BOE is using it. We have three hospitals as well, and they are called digital hospitals. And of course, AI and IoT is used there for, of course, for better diagnosing the people, for getting the right medicine, for getting the right doctor to the right patient. Is this an assistant? This is our AI assistant. So she in can interact? She, yeah, but only in Chinese at the moment. Chinese. Ni hao. <laughs> I don't know how to say anything. I think at the moment not, but yeah. uh, in China, definitely. 65-inch 4K AI TV. So there's AI stuff happening in the UI. Absolutely, yes. So it's uh, not only for program choice, but also it's, it generates what you want to see, right? What you have seen before, what you want to see in the future. So assistant, near field voice. So you get yeah. good voice capture. You get picture quality improvements. Mm -hmm. uh, you can point the remote smartly uh, to select stuff. Shopping. Oh, nice. When you watch a movie, you can buy the shirt that George Clooney is wearing. Yeah, not Here bad, right? Picture understanding. And understand I think you just happening. saw that it actually um, dimmed down because you were too close. Here, screens too nice. close can hurt your eyes. So it detected that and dimmed down right here and there. Yeah? Nice. And here's a AI for what? Notebook. That's notebook. a notebook AI. Nice. So, so we can it do detects stuff. you and it has privacy detection, so it actually knows who you are. I mean, if you are um, if you're applied as a user here, but if it knows who you are, it only opens for you. Nice. Ultra thin um, touchpad. This is an ultra thin. I think you need to film here. There we can see. And there's the glass. Exactly. But let's go around as well yeah. here. So. This is really nice. This is quite interesting. As you can see, this is a segmented frequency. So here we have only eight frames per second. In the middle, 120, and here eight. So what does it do? Save you a lot of energy. Nice, because sometimes you just have something happening in the corner, but the rest is just static. Absolutely. And why waste it? I mean, usually you just have uh, the panel on electricity and it's always the same thing. But BOE is developing more and more that you get more green, that you can actually save it. Nice. Oh, yeah. I'd like to have a look at the latest uh, with VR, AR uh, glasses. Um, can you hold this up? I can. And I'll try to capture the display. Can you explain a little bit what we see here? Absolutely. So this is a 4.82 inch display with a 4K times 4K resolution. And the best part is that it has 2117 pixel per inch. So this is quite a lot on that small area. 4K by 4K VR. Yeah. Great performance in there. This is another one. Yeah. High dynamic. Dynamic contrast rate virtual reality. Also quite nice. And this one has a mini LED backlight. So that means that has uh, that very high contrast rate between the true black and the very high color gamut. So that's also quite nice. Nice. So the best and VR displays in the world. And this, uh, I mean, we don't even show the best here. The best is the micro yeah. OLED, but that's not even shown. So it can okay. get even better. Okay. And let me show you the, the quantum dot. Okay, no quantum dots, sorry. Yeah. I think the quantum dot is already okay. taken away. Okay, and no problem. Let's continue here. Yeah, so um, here we also have um, monitors. These are actually for gaming. And here we have an 8K monitor. I mean, uh, before you saw a 16K with 3D, and this is 8K. So the resolution is very high. 
very fine. I think you can get really close and not see the pixels. Nice. That's a great display. And this is also a display technology that enhances the contrast and the picture quality. I'll try SC. Yeah. Here we have more automotive. Yeah, I think this one is really nice. It has not only wooden optics, but also haptics. So if you feel it, it feels a bit like polished wood, which I think is really nice. And here we have a projection of the currently longest um, dashboard panel with 44.8 inch for an LCD. Nice, for the HUD. And what are we seeing here? What's ADS Pro? Okay, ADS is actually the BOE equivalent to an IPS. And ADS Pro is, of course, the enhanced ADS. That means what is enhanced? Brightness is enhanced, contrast is enhanced, uh, it's uh, better picture quality. And um, here we also have the UB cell um, ultra bright, ultra brilliant, ultra black. And we have a comparison between OLED and UB cell. And yes, the blackness is the same, I would say, but I think the colors, the colors are more intensive in the UB cell. Would you There's agree? more brightness here, right? Also more brightness. I mean, let's say the weakness of an OLED is that it has a limited uh, brightness and a limited lifetime. And of course, you don't have that with an enhanced LCD. Nice. This is yeah. the best of the LCD TVs in the world. Yeah, I would say right so, definitely. Yeah. yeah. All right. What do we miss around from this way? Um, um, we didn't. Maybe just a little bit here. Um, yeah, we captured all the way down. Yeah. yeah. This one you already saw at the yeah. special yeah, room. Yeah, I saw it in the other room. Yeah, so it's for is... the blur limitation. Yeah. And here we already had a comparison of different frame rates before. And here we compare a normal screen with our mini LED backlight screen. And you can see here that the normal screen is not true black. It's, you can still see the lighting. Whereas here you really dive deep into the blackness and better colors. I think it's obvious. And nice. here you compare an OLED with a mini LED backlight. And what you can see here is that you here have a blur. When you stop and change sides, it's blurry. And here it is not. Cool. And here again, it shows the color. Compare with an OLED and a mini LED backlight. Compared to the UB cell, it's a second technology to get the true black. Yeah, and that's the booth. Can you explain a little bit uh, what you do? Like you're based in Germany? <laughs> yes. I'm a salesperson in Germany and I'm responsible for basically all of the products, depending on what the customer needs and wants. So there's many different companies that want to do new cool stuff and you help them to pick the best technology for their projects. Absolutely, yes. Depending right. on what they want, of course. All right, cool. That, thanks a lot for hey, this tour. No problem. Hope to see you again.